going to demonstrate how to achieve an aged and rusted look when applying paint to a plastic pipe. Step one is to spray the plastic pipe with primer. I'm now going to add a fine dusting of coarse texture paint focusing on the joint areas. I'm going to use a piece of cardboard to blank off the areas I want to keep relatively clear of the paint. I'm now going to cover the piece in a layer of fine texture paint. I'm now going to spray the whole piece a gunmetal silver grey colour. I'm now going to paint a black wash over the top. The next step is dry brush over the top of the piece using a steel acrylic paint. To do this you want to take off as much of the paint as possible so the brush only has small amounts on it and focus on the high points. Here's the piece after dry brushing. You can see I focused on the high points and also some of the larger areas to make them stand out more. Because rust often has a flaky texture, what I'm gonna do is mix some porridge oats with some burnt sienna paste. This will create a lumpy flaky mix, which I can add to the piece. Here's the rust mix. I'm gonna focus the main parts of the rust around the joints and in low points. I'm going to extend these patches of paint and porridge oat mix using just some paint on its own. This will make it look like the path the water has taken causing the rusting. I've extended the rust patches by dabbing around the edges using a very small amount of the burnt sienna coloured paint. To add some extra depth to the rust effect I'm going to use a dark brown wash and just dab it across the pieces that I've made rusty. Here's the completed piece. Because the rusted sections are quite delicate, it might be worth considering covering the piece with a varnish after you've finished.